Hello and welcome to ArcSight Unplugged YouTube channel. My name is Emre Halpa. I'm a senior product manager with ArcSight Content and Connectors. In today's demo, we'll be showing you a GDPR compliance scenario. ArcSight Recon will help the security analysts and hunt teams to identify a potential data exfiltration to a non-European Union country. This obviously is a breach of the GDPR compliance requirements. Let's start. We start by logging into ArcSight Fusion UI. This is our single pane of glass user experience for everything ArcSight related. Then, clicking on the dashboards, we see Recon's out-of-the-box default content. This includes Mitre Tech aligned content and cloud-focused content, just to name a few. Then, we see compliance-specific content like PCI, IT governance, and today's focus, GDPR. In order to see how my GDPR regulatory exposure is, I select the data flow from GDPR systems to non-EU countries dashboard, because I'm concerned about this. So, this opens up a special GDPR overview dashboard where I can see at first glance data flows to non-EU countries. I can select a dot on this world map, which will show one level deeper information, including the IP addresses and countries involved, along with counts of flow data. It's already interesting as there are a number of non-EU countries to which data is flowing from my company. We can also zoom in on a specific host by focusing on the bar chart at the bottom left. It seems this that 14 IP address is talking to five different countries illustrated by those five colors on the top right. One of them is Taiwan. There's no doubt that this dot 14 is a good lead to start my hunt exercise. I now open up my search and hunt dashboard. After I enter the IP address, which is the dot 14, which is the asset that I'm interested in, I select the specific fields that I'm interested in to get the results, and then I change the start and end time of my investigation, and I look at my initial results. Sure enough, we have some good results. So before we continue, let's save this as a saved search for my entire SOC team. You know, layer one, layer two, hunt teams can utilize this. So looking at the results once again, and uh, let's look at this country uh, letters. In this case, we have China, Israel, Taiwan, and Russia. That's quite interesting. China seems to be getting that, you know, highest number of flow counts. Okay, that's interesting. You know what? I'm also interested in maybe looking at a sample RAW event. Maybe there is additional detail in there. So I'm going to select one. In this case, I'm actually sorting by the destination host name. It seems we have quite a number of Taiwanese uh, internet provider, this dynamic IP, and maybe a home PC. Let's see what's going on here. You know what? This is the exact message coming from the Snort IDS. Obviously, it confirms my initial hypothesis. Yes, there is malware. Yes, there is the pushbot malware communicating to a command and control outside my organization. So we will now investigate further. At times like these, you may want to try another angle, maybe some other opinion from the solution. My personal favorite in these situations is the Mitre Attack dashboards that come with the solution. One of them in particular shows you in a storytelling way what's happening in your environment. In this case, we are going to open up our Mitre Attack for the GDPR. So let's see what's available from a Mitre Attack perspective focused on GDPR. So I click on the dashboards once again. I select a specific folders here just to see what's available. And then this one seems quite interesting. It says Mitre Attack on the GDPR systems by the GDPR asset. It is interesting because I know the dot 14 IP is the asset that I'm interested in. So I enter the IP into the search window and then I uh, change the time window because I'm going to be having a specific focus on this uh, asset. And sure enough, we have this dashboard showing us the Mitre Attack techniques identified on this host for those two days. It's very interesting because the number of Mitre Attack techniques increases in time. Let's see what they are at the bottom, which is giving us that full view. Again, the destination IP here is our .14. And .96, .11, and .10 have done quite a lot of things, starting with the vulnerability scanning, then exploitation of the blue keep vulnerability, which is quite infamous, the OS credential dumping, account discovery, the John user becoming admin. I don't think you need me to tell you what's going on here. There is obviously a data staging happening here where a central machine is being used to copy all the data to be exfiltrated. This is the precursor to the final step, which is the exfiltration itself. So this confirms my hunch. This confirms my hypothesis. There's something going on in this environment. So we will show you how we can take these hunt results and make them automated so that next time you don't need to hunt something like this. Perhaps you can have our correlation engine find these mitre attack chains so that you can take your detection to the next level. 
Thank you for watching, and we will keep on providing you videos like this to show you how ArcSight, with its layered analytics, can help you achieve that self-defending enterprise. Until next time, stay safe.